I was very interested in the whole idea of researching areas of pain and trying to help people with different types of pain, especially chronic and neuropathic pain, uh, trying to come up with alternatives to opiates. This has been uh, my goal since, since my father passed away from lung cancer. He and my mom moved to Tucson. And he came down here because, you know, he wanted to sort of work with me on the side with building houses. So I had gotten a general contractor's license. I remember it very clearly. We were working on a house and we were redoing the floor. And he kept complaining of his back hurting. And I said, Dad, you need to, you need to go get help. You need to have that looked at. And come to find out, it happened to be lung cancer that was already at a metastatic state and with the fact that it had spread from his lungs to his back. And uh, he's not the kind of person that likes to take a lot of medications, but he had to take it or else the pain would just be severe. And so he went on uh, opiates, of course, which was really the first line for treating uh, metastatic cancer. And then he would be like a zombie. Sometimes there was a part where you'd look at him and he wasn't even sure who it was that was standing there talking to him. And I realized, you know, this is terrible. And you start to realize that at the late stage of life and you realize that a person's not gonna live forever when they have this, but they're not themselves. They can't communicate. And I think that was really, really hard on him. It was hard on me. It was a, it was a rough time. But it drove me to sort of say, we need to know more about this. We need to have other therapies, other treatments that we can actually help people with metastatic cancer pain.